I'm Julie Robenheimer, joined by Team USA Captain Matt Hendricks. Matt, uh, start of the 2016 World Championship, you know, it's your second year as captain. Can you just speak about that honor? Um, great honor. Uh, first, there's been a lot of great players that have, that have worn that letter before me and uh, to follow in their footsteps. Uh, it's great. It, it, and, uh, you know, it, 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 it's great that the teammates, you know, look up to me. Um, but that room is full with a lot of great leaders, and there's a lot of good guys that we're gonna we're gonna fall on to to give some some leadership and give some guidance and and voice their opinions. What's the difference between last year's team and or experience compared to this year? I think uh, in terms of NHL experience, we're a little bit lacking in that category this season. Um, we had a few more guys come over, especially after the first round and the NHL playoffs ended. Um, we're not gonna have that this season, but so. You know, I, I don't think that's going to change our outlook on the tournament at all by any means. I just think we're going to become a better team as the tournament progresses. Now I know one of your points of emphasis as, as captain and leader of this team is to make sure that the team comes together both on and off the ice in terms of their personalities and, and getting the guys together. I know you guys had a lot of fun in Finland. Can you tell me about some of your team bonding experiences there? Yeah, we, uh, we did kind of a scavenger hunt throughout the city of Helsinki. It was pretty neat. Um, split the team into, I think it was five groups. And uh, we had uh, monuments, markers throughout the, throughout the city that we had to find and take pictures with. But uh, kind of the, the key was, no, you couldn't use your phone, you couldn't use your cell phone. So just trying to interact with the public and, you know, asking, you know, citizens uh, of Helsinki where to go and, and, and finding directions. So the language barrier wasn't too bad, not as bad as we thought it was going to be. The uh, Finns speak very good English. So, but it was a lot of fun. You know, it's important, especially with a young team like we have in such a short amount of time to get to know each other that everybody feels comfortable. Um, everybody feels comfortable to speak up and talk and we don't want anybody being shy because when we get on the ice we got to be a team and we got to play like one as well. So I guess I shouldn't rat out the team that found me and asked me for my map. No, I hope not. <laughs> but maybe if you let me know I could uh, get some bonus points deducted from them. Maybe. Oh, I think they won. So. Yeah. <laughs> Well, when you look at the, the team chemistry here, heading into your game against Canada, you know, what is it that you are most excited to see from this team? Um, well, I, I like our ability to skate. I think we're a team that if, if we play the correct way, we can put teams on their heels, um, gain offensive momentum through that. And our goaltending was real strong in Finland, so we're going to rely on that as well. But I think once we, once we realize what our strengths are going to be and we continue to play towards that, we're going to be a much better team. But... You know, Canada's a, a monster. Um, they've got a lot of talent over there, and we're going to have to play a very good game. Great. Thanks so much for your time, Matt. For Oilers TV, I'm Julie Robenheimer.